is the law of work. When we hear the word work as adults, sometimes it brings a negative thought in our mind and we get exhausted and we think, oh no, I have work to do. But that's not the way children think, all right? Now, if you enjoy your work and you love your work, then you don't have that feeling that it's a burden. And that's how children feel. They enjoy working. Let me give you an example of how different it is for adults and for children. Uh, if I have a task in front of me and I have to mop the floor, I look at it as something exhausting. It's work for me. I have to finish and clean up and make sure that the floor is neat and tidy. All right? I'm focused on what is my end result. If a child has a spill and they have to mop up, they're not thinking of the end result. They are focusing only on the task at hand and they put their whole selves into completing their, this task and they enjoy what they're doing. For children, it's always about the process. It's never about the end result or the goal as it is for adults. Montessori observed that children love to work. However, for them, work is different than it is for an adult. So why is this so? It's because children use this environment around them to improve themselves, to learn, to grow. Uh, they, Montessori also discovered that work is the true nature of the child. When they do things that are useful, that make them feel that there's a purpose, they grow in self-esteem, they grow in self-confidence, uh, and they feel satisfied. She calls this process of working and feeling satisfied and joyful and ha happy the process of normalization. And we will talk about this in our future discussions and videos. If you observe a Montessori classroom, you'll see children doing a lot of work. We have brooms, we have mops, we have jugs. They are sweeping up little messes that they make. They may be dusting, they could be cleaning windows. They serve lunch, the older children serve lunch to the younger children. After they are done, they wash and rinse their plates in certain schools. Um, they do activities out, outdoors where they are watering the plants or feeding the pets. So all of these things help them to feel useful. For them, this work is self-satisfying and helps them become more independent. Uh, it teaches them, develops a sense of order. They are developing their physical skills at the same time. So they are growing all round. It's a holistic development for them. How about you? What Some ideas for what you might be able to do at home uh, to help nurture this law of work. Perhaps you could help uh, ask your child to help you tidy up after a meal. Um, you could help the, ask them to help you in the garden to plant or to pull out some weeds if you do have that. When there's a small spill, try and get uh, uh, some cleaning equipment, a little cleaning kit that is child-sized. Maybe a dustpan and a brush, a little broom. They're available online. They're available in a lot of the uh, stores here. You can pick up a set and keep it available for your children to use and help you tidy up. They enjoy doing these kind of things. Um, when there's a mess, instead of getting upset and irritated with your child for being messy, ask them to get involved and help you to tidy this up. Here are a couple of things to keep in mind, okay? When you do see a child doing a piece of work, we don't want to interrupt them and disturb their concentration flow. Allow them to do it at their own pace to what they feel is their best capability. It may not be perfect in your eyes, but to them, this is their work. Allow them to do it as they need to. Um, don't use work as a punishment. If you make a mess, I'm going to make you tidy up or something like that. It should be an enjoyable process. It should be something that both of you do together and it doesn't feel like a punishment to them. Sometimes you can make up work for them, even if you know it's not really needed. Uh, one thing that um, I enjoy doing with uh, uh, my children who are in my home, my niece and nephew, um, I give them a small spray bottle and ask them to spray the mirrors. I have some big mirrors in my home um, and I ask them to spray and clean up the mirror. 
and they enjoy that they're looking at themselves in the process and they're cleaning this big mirror there's a lot of physical activity and concentration being developed and they feel that they're really contributing to being a part of our home and being a valuable member of this home um, you can uh, ask them while you are making beds to help you uh, to do things anything that you feel that they can contribute to ask them to join in in case you are um, confused about ideas we always have google you can just google chores for a two-year-old or chores for simple chores at home for a three-year-old and you'll get a whole list of ideas so try it out and see how much your child is going to enjoy being a part of the work that you do at home it isn't about needing to get expensive toys or uh, you know things that are bright and colorful and noisy involving them in simple activities and things at home feels very useful and they will develop skills beyond anything you can imagine I look forward to seeing you next week when we discuss the next law of natural development.